and welcome to Add More Zest and my name's Rebecca also known as 4kids at 147 and it is time for a whip and waffle. Um, I'm gonna work on my Diamond Art Studio painting because I haven't yet managed to start it. I am so close to finishing my dreamers designs. I say so close, I still think there's at least a week in it um, but I'm so close to finishing it I don't want to put it away to start this one and then not get it finished but at the same point I want to start this one so I've decided that whip and waffle time is the perfect time to start this one but still keep my dreamers designs in the conservatory for doing but I keep debating between starting at the bottom where I normally do I normally start bottom up or starting at the top where it's got this blockiness because as you guys may know the dreamers designs is not blocky it is confetti um so it'd be quite nice to just be able to do a block and i keep flipping between the two but i think i'm going to start at the top i did think oh i'll do the bottom because it's a little bit more interesting for a whip and chat but i can't get the camera as close when it's at the bottom due to how far back I can get the easel to go and stuff. So I went back to the top, then I went back to the bottom, and then I went back to the top. But I think I'm gonna do this one a little bit different. I normally start at the bottom, so let's go different and we'll start at the top. Uh, but in turn, while this one is kitted up, if this is in no way prepped to go. So I thought, let's do that at the beginning of the whip and chat, because why not? You get to see how I try and fit everything on a desk that is actually quite big. It's a lot bigger than what I work on um, in the conservatory, but it's it's still, you know, never enough room, is it, for what you want. So I'm doing this backwards, but because I am actually going to work on this, what I want to do is figure out roughly my line maybe a little bit lower than that I can get away with and I like to line up this set of cover paper so that I can place my diamonds with no problem some of these are cover paper sheets so dusty and that'll just be from sitting out in the conservatory and getting covered in dust but it's all okay I've not found it causes a problem even if I do stick it cover side down that is dusty and then by the looks of it we have a tiny bit on the end so that is my sort of second row that's my guide row and then this is going to be my row and I might do these overlapping a little bit more so that I can Still use the same amount, but give myself smaller sections if I want to. So overlap these over the top. There we go. So that is the amount of cover sheets that I will use for this diamond painting. What I'll do is when I take these off, when I get to the end of the row, I will sort of do the same thing again. I will move these down a little bit, and give myself a nice straight line to work on and then pop the sheets across the top so that I can pull them off bit by bit. Um, with the outer paper, I'll just grab some scissors. And as long as I am leaving free that first piece of cover sheet, this doesn't need to be tidy. Um, because when I put the next row down, I'll cut it again. So, diamond painting is already. So let's bring my easel over. It has got my light pad on, though I don't tend to need to turn it on when it comes to whip and chats. And I'm going over here, so let's roll up the bottom of my diamond painting this time and what I've completed will hang over the top. And then I did bring in my towel clips 
um, as they're called. I think these were from DIY Choose, but you can get them as just towel clips. Now, normally I will put the rest of this around a piece of pipe lagging um, or pipe insulation. However, I don't have any. So where did I put my binder clips? Where did I put them? And of course, I can't, can't find where I put the mini ones. Or did I put them in here? Oh, here's some that I got from, sure it was from Jackie. They're a little bit bigger than the ones I normally use, but they will do the job. A little bit bigger than the ones I use for canvases anyway, but they will do the job. In fact, they will if I put it together so that it's not sticking out. It's the way I've rolled it. Hang on a minute. I'm getting myself in a cup of and we've not even started yet. So I want it to just sit underneath so that I can still lean on this and it can just hang down. I'm just not rolling it straight in the fact that I want my edges together over here. These are strong. These are strong ones. There we go. So I've managed to clip the ends together. So let's clip the ends together on this one and pop my pot back on my pegboard. Clip the other side rolled up. I normally use the mini, mini binder clips and I have a tub of them, but I don't know where I've put them. I could grab some out of stock, but that just seems a little bit wrong due to the fact that it's not that I don't have any. I just can't remember where I put them. I put that clip a little bit too far up. I want it a little bit further round so that this can still hang down and rest on the desk. This is quite a way over to start off with, but trying to make sure that I can get it in the whip and chat as much as possible. So in relation to the whip and chat today, we're going to be doing a lot of chatting and a lot of black. There is a little bit of white, but it's mainly chatter. Is it an A B white? I can't tell because I've covered up the key. Um, these I will keep. You can, sometimes I do just pop them down here as soon as I take them off, just to keep them safe. Keeps a little bit more dust off them, to be honest. Um, and make sure that it's known they're for this painting. But when I do get to the end, I like to give myself a nice straight edge. I just find then it's easier as I pull each one off. I know I'm working in a straight line. Right, where's my diamonds now? Which, which case did I keep this up in? Memories, memories, was it this one? I think it was this one. Is this one mine? Yes, this one. <laughs> this is the case that I kitted up in. Um, I do also have my MacBook with all the questions and stuff on. That's now to my right. I have a grip mat that is probably more dusty than my cover sheets at the moment. This was actually um, from Diamond Art Studio UK as well. Not been taking very good care of my stuff in the last week or so. I keep leaving stuff out, moving stuff about and getting myself in a pickle. But I have my grip mat with my little trashy tray. I'm going to use the red tray for this month's launch this time and the little nod to Australia pen because it is summertime for them. But I have popped a new metal pen tip in this pen. And one thing to note with this pen, I did have to take the little O-rings off the metal, uh, off the single placer and off the two placer actually. I had to take the little O-rings off for it to fit in this pen. Um, it can really depend on, you know, 
the, the type of pen and how it's been manufactured as to whether you need to take the o-rings off or leave them on oh that glue dot seems to have gone in that one a little bit further we'll see if it pops back out in a moment right where's my black lots and lots of black at least i'll be able to see black it's not a black tray that we've done this month so i can still definitely see them these little soldiers and I'm just shaking it back and forth to get as many as I can lined up and then I just tap it on my hand lightly um, if you use a multiplacer you can tap it on your hand to get them to go down as well lighter taps and get the the little bits that are the wrong way round in the corner for another reshuffle later I do actually have a multiplacer on this one albeit only a two because I am not a brave soldier with multi-placing yet. Well, you might have seen that I have been diamond painting for years and I have a YouTube channel with, I, d I don't even want to hazard a guess as to how many videos on it. Um, I probably should look at that at some point, how many videos I've got in relation to diamond painting of which there are gazillions. I've never quite got on with multi-placing. However, I do want to give it a bit more of a go. I always feel like it's cheating a little bit, but I think with really large paintings, or the larger paintings, especially when you have blocks of colour and so much of it, I think a little bit of multi-placing is probably good for the sanity levels and keeping the painting going. I am still single placing around the edge at the moment because I want a nice straight as possible edge um, of which sometimes you can use a gift card or something or a credit card lined up against the side to get you that nice straight edge to get going and then multi-place in between. What I'm also gonna do actually is because I am just mainly working on 310 at the moment I'm going to switch my computer with my diamonds are they all oh, they are ABs so these little scatterings on this one are ABs so I'm going to switch those and then I'm going to zoom in and I when I do work at the top I do have a little bit more room to zoom in closer for you that's about as close as I'm going to get due to how far I can move this to the right. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit closer. I have got glue dots in my multi-placer. So I might just, oh, well that didn't help. I don't know how sticky this is. It's been a little, a little while since I've used it. And last time I used a multi-placer, I must say, it was with rounds. So I don't know how well this square multi-placing is going to go. It would be helpful if I could actually pick them both up. Now, see, I'm not liking it. I know it's practice. I know full well it's practice that is making me not like it. But they just weren't lining up. They're, they're a nice snug fit, these diamonds. They were a really nice snug fit. And because of that, quite often when I place a diamond, I actually overlap it. I don't even know if you can see that, but I do overlap it ever so slightly over the last diamond. And when I push it down, it slides off the side and slides into its home, which means it gives it a really, really snug fit. Sometimes I just butt it up, sometimes I give it a slide and a snug. It depends if I find myself shuffling over a little bit. And then I find leaning it on the side and making it click in um, or click slightly in um, shuffles the whole row up. And I can't do that with a multi-placer. 
so let's do some let's do some steps instead I think while we go through um, comments and questions but I am happy to say to start off with that all pre-orders have been posted I had no pending orders for a, a short period of time um, and a sort of normal order came in but it was very nice to have cleared all pending orders and got all pre-orders on their way because I really don't like holding on to orders even though it was known and even though it wasn't really holding on to them because they were waiting for the item to come in as soon as it comes in I want them on their way so yeah pre-orders um, have all left the building all remain in stock has been put on the site anybody that was signed up for the email waitlist has been sent the email to let them know um, when this video is going to be live I don't know if there will be anything left or not if it has disappeared from the site then there is there is none left um, because we will be hiding it from the shop once they're all sold out because we are now into November launch time the October launch has lasted a while uh, yeah we're now into November launch so we want to prioritize those products up there um, and the ability to sign up for the waitlist not a product that is done and dusted for 2022 but yeah, busy times, but exciting times. I do keep seeing emails popping up with the pre-orders being sold. So that's why I say by the time this video goes up, I don't know if there will be any left. I am filming this late on Saturday um, because Hubby has had the week off this last week and we haven't had a chance to do anything like in relation to being off work a day out or anything like that because I've been busy shipping pre-orders out so we are going out for the day this Sunday um, so yeah so I'm filming this video beforehand uh, and while you're watching it we may be back home we may not time will tell whether we have return to the homestead by 4 p.m or whether we're still out on our jollies but yeah he's been amazing being a posty posty run he has done quite a few this week uh, sometimes multiple times a day uh, we have i think once we actually took stuff to the post office three times in a day to try because we need to get proof of postage for um, international orders to appease the Batman we um, we try not to overwhelm our local post office and we try and get some so we try to get some of the orders to them before um, their half 12 pickup and then we got some more orders to them of course after their half 12 pickup so that they also didn't have you know a, a tiny I mean I say tiny you know the, the back their office part um, to store parcels and stuff can't cope with too many big parcels um, so yeah we tried not to overwhelm them with the parcels and with having to provide the proof of postage um, because they're kind enough to work with us we drop the parcels off and we pick the proof of postage up the following day um, and they do them around customers that afternoon um, so yeah he's been amazing doing that he's also been taking UK ones to our local sorting office um, and, and dropping those off and he even dropped one customers to their address uh, they had asked to collect. I was, I just finished the pre-orders and was knee deep in my first ever VAT return. So my head was all over the show. 
um, and I didn't want Adele to have to wait any longer. But he was also going over um, that side of town anyway. And yeah, he offered to drop it off for us. So um, that that all worked out quite well in the end. So he's been a little trooper. Um, but yeah, comments, questions, etc. Let's have a look what we've got while we're doing loads of 310 here. So if you often do your own diamond painting um, while you listen to these whip and chats, then I don't suppose it will matter to you whether I'm doing a load of black or any other colour. I'm really liking these black diamonds though. Um, they're fitting together really nice and I'm not seeing any, any rubbish ones yet. Um, also, I don't have a problem with static since I have um, put the put the dryer sheets in with the pots. Quite often I don't. I may have trouble with static while I'm kitting up, but quite often once they've been in the pots with a piece of dryer sheet, I don't tend to have an issue with it while working on it. So I can handle that for the nicer diamonds. Um, Cat Lady, she says, yes, thank you. She said she did receive her pre-order 12 days advent on Friday. Um, she wasn't in to receive it, but she did pick it up from the post office on Saturday morning. She says she set it aside away from her sight um, to stop her being tempted to peek. That is always a, a thing, isn't it? As much as, you know, we want the advent to get to you, because there's nothing like panicking that it's not going to turn up on time for you to open it at the beginning of December it is then moving it somewhere where you won't constantly be thinking and want to peek I know of at least two people that have peaked already when I say peaked they've opened the whole thing um, <laughs> but I'm sure there'll be many more that will be enjoying it throughout December uh, Lynn, she says, hello, Rebecca. She says, thank you for the whip and chats. Uh, she says she's going to be doing a mystery painting for the December advent. Uh, she's had it for a while, so she doesn't know if it's a Christmas theme or not. Uh, she said, we shall see. Uh, she has already kitted it up, so she's ready to go. A little bit early, but she was in the mood for a kitting up. Yeah, I'm always in the mood for a kitting up. I love kitting up a new diamond painting. I don't know, I don't know, it's just, you know, new beginnings, the excitement of a new painting. I love it. I can't wait to kit up my advent. I've not decided on what storage yet at all. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get to get it kitted up and ready. Um, if you do want to kit up advent at the same time as me, I'll be kitting it up on the 19th of November, but feel free to kit it up when suits you uh, and whichever advent you're doing. I don't know, um, Lynn, if you've watched my channel for a while, but there was a December advent. I think it may have been the second one I ever did. I ordered a mystery painting from a company. I ordered it in October to ensure that it got to me in time because it was an international order. Um, so yeah, I ordered it in October to make sure I had left plenty of time. And when I <laughs> kitted it up, I could sort of tell that it definitely wasn't Christmas themed. Um, it wasn't even universal. It was actually Halloween themed, which I suppose suited the monthly mystery painting for October, but I still went with it. Many other people purchased a painting from the same company at the same time as me. Uh, it was before we produced our own. So it gave people a chance to, yeah, it was it was the first chance, that first time that we sort of did an opportunity for people to do the same painting as me, but to purchase it from another company. 
I didn't have any agreement with them or anything. It was just um, I chose to do one of their mystery paintings at the time. It was about three years ago, I think. And yeah, it turned out to be fully Halloween themed, but I did it anyway. So don't worry about what theme your mystery one is. Just just do it. it. The idea is that you're diamond painting. It doesn't have to be Christmas themed. It doesn't have to be non-Christmas themed um, or more of a universal picture. It can be anything. Absolutely anything. The point is to just diamond paint for a little bit each day in December. Uh, Jeanette, she says, talking about Dreamer's Designs, she says she has um, exuberance in square, she says, and it is confetti heavy. Um, she says it's only her second one, so she's a little bit hesitant to start it. <laughs> is that because of the size, Jeanette, or is that because it's confetti? Because the only thing, you know, with confetti, and if you're unsure, is do smaller sections, but realise that you just are going to spend a little bit more time tipping diamonds out of your tray and tipping diamonds into your tray. Unless you have a setup where your diamonds um, and your trays are separate, so you actually don't tip them in and out, you just have a tray. Um, that has all your diamonds in it so it really does depend on whether you've got the space and the option to have a tray per colour and you don't have to tip them in and out and you just put them on some sort of little storage system until you finish the whole painting um, or whether like most of us uh, you tip your diamonds into the tray and then when you finish that colour you tip them back if that's the case, you just need to realise it's going to take you a little bit longer. But sometimes slow and steady wins the race. And I suppose the question is, if you're really looking forward to doing that design and, you know, you've got the excitement level alongside the nervousness of that design, then just go slow and steady and you will feel so happy um, and so proud when you do finish it, even if it does take a while that's all I can suggest with that one um, Bernadette says she enjoyed today's whip and waffle uh, and she's dying to see what the mystery painting turns out to be yeah well I'm, I haven't done any more than what I did last week on my mystery because I am trying to finish my dreamers designs I am um, so close uh, well I say so close I have I have my last three pieces of cover paper and normally I would I always work across one cover paper level and normally I do that until I get to the top of the painting because I often work from the bottom and then I will do the last two pieces together in a block until I'm finished with the Dreamers designs, I decided to do the last three as a block. So while I'm close to finishing, I still have five blocks of three to do. So it's going to take me a minimum, even if I did get a good few hours in on an evening to diamond paint, I still don't tend to get more than the than one row done. So it's going to take me at least five days. Um, and... I did start to diamond paint one of my rows the other day, but then the guilt set in that my VAT return wasn't yet submitted uh, and then the panic set in. And yeah, I ended up entering stuff. I've had to change the way, you know, I record some stuff in our accounting software to take account of VAT. Um, so yeah, I spent all night doing that tedious task. Uh, had had a call with my accountant yesterday morning who was absolutely awesome. 
checked off the last bits I needed to do and actually got it submitted uh, yesterday, Friday, um, which is a, a sigh of relief because the first one is always the worst. After that, I'm hoping that by keeping on top of our accounts in this new way that we know now, um, it will be a very, very easy process. I just wish we didn't have to do our first one right in the middle of October launch uh, and the restock of October launch. Uh, any other month of the year would probably have been better. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, it might be a bit until you see what the mystery one is, Bernadette. Uh, she says she's so excited to hear that pre-orders are going out this week. Uh, she can't wait to get the painting, the 12 day advent and her zesty tray. Um, she says she's also excited for Tuesday to start her Diamond Art Studio painting. Yes, I was excited for Tuesday to start it, but it was actually Megan's birthday on Tuesday. Uh, and then I've had busy days where I've had to prioritise other things. So I decided that today's whip and waffle, I was bare minimum getting this started. And hopefully if I can get Dreamers Designs finished over this upcoming week, um, then I can go at it, you know, pretty much full hog, though I do need to pay attention to the mystery painting at some point. Um, she's doing Pink Blossom Tree. She said she loves it and she's looking forward to seeing it come to life. She said, I hope your front garden turns out exactly as you hope. She says it's exciting to change things. Yeah, it's turned out good so far. I mean, the, the front garden was an overgrown sort of not looked after well, it used to be looked after before we moved into this house 20 plus years ago. Uh, but it had become overgrown when the lady that used to live here was ill. Um, so it had become a bit unkept. Our kids were young. Well, Karis was only a baby. The other two weren't in existence when we first moved in. Um, and we just didn't have the time. We were too busy doing the house um, and the children um, to even look at the front garden it, it's basically only ever got basic maintenance mow the lawn weed the path that'll do um, and now we're not actually going to be having any grass out the front we have grass around the back and we don't mind mowing that but um, the front no the front we're hoping will look just as nice all year round uh, and it's basically just getting paved and slate down. In other places we are moving the path so that it makes more sense from the front door to the gate and then we are putting a path where the bins go um, to make it easier so they'll come down the path and they'll basically stay on one level and we are fence putting a fence, a higher fence um, across where the bins are just so that you can't see them so it's only small things uh, but it is exciting at the same point it's not a full-on landscaping you know all these sorts of exotic trees and all the rest of it done it is basically going to be a nice tidy low maintenance front garden is our hope and we may put some pots out in the future uh, put a few things like that. Time will tell. Uh, we will have that option, but that's not in our brain at the moment. Need warmer weather to think of stuff like that, that's for sure. Uh, Charlotte, she said, um, this has nothing to do with diamond painting, she said, but she thought she might share anyway. She is chopping 11 inches off her hair for the little princess's trust wow talk about changes that will be that will be a bit of a change for you um but well done you know it's a good cause to do it for 
um, and a change is always good. I actually went back to being blonde a few months back after dyeing my hair brown. I found when my grey grew through, it was um, it was a little bit more like a neon light uh, when my hair was brown. So I went back to having blonde put in. I'm sort of in between the two. I'm that I'm that yucky colour in between the two naturally. Um, and yeah, that was a a nice dramatic change, um, but also nice, nice to do. Um, so yeah, I hope you love your new haircut and it will grow back if you don't, but at least you've donated to a good cause. So well done you. Uh, Beth, she says, hi there. She says, do they have retreats for diamond painting? <coughs> She said ones like they have for cross stitch. She said that would be great if they do. Um, I don't know of a company or a business or anything that does any sort of big retreats. Um, I know many crafts often organise either retreats or, you know, day, day craft events where people just get together in their local community. I know there is some for diamond painting in near my mum in Australia actually. There is sort of a diamond painting club group that gets together uh, and they diamond paint for the day or diamond paint for a few hours together. Uh, people just turn up, bring their own and the lady that runs it does actually have a few you know, that she offers to sell on at pretty much cost. Um, to people that are there so that they've always got some diamond paintings that they can do. I've not heard of anything local to me though they were running before Covid when diamond painting was quite new. Diamond painting has grown dramatically over the last few years. Um, a lot of that is possibly due to Covid um, and people, you know, having the time to explore these new hobbies. So maybe now that, you know, COVID has calmed down in most places, maybe it will be that people will organise more local groups, more local get togethers. Um, so, yeah, just check out, check out if there's any groups near you. Um, or people near you that like to diamond paint that may have heard of something. I know there's a few diamond painters in my town, so it may well be that that we can potentially arrange a get together at some point to diamond paint. And I know when I did scrapbooking, there was quite a few different places um, that people did meetups in local areas, and people would travel from you know, towns and cities half an hour or so away to, to be able to meet up and, and do these groups of people doing the same thing. So maybe something like that could be arranged for diamond painting. And we can just sit and diamond paint and natter because that's what we do best. Um, Amber, she said she wished she could have placed her order in October. She said everything sold out so fast um, and she loves the tray. She says they're so amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes, October was a record sellout month for us. Um, we knew that, you know, items were going to be popular, but we didn't expect them to be as popular as they were. Um, but lesson learned. Lesson learned, the brain is already ticking for things for future years. Uh, for next year, for 2023, brain is already ticking um, and numbers will be a lot more. A lot more for future, for next year's adventures anyway. And yeah, be rest assured, we do have a few, a few good ideas up our sleeves. Um, and hopefully the fact that we have, you know, a good chunk of the year 
to get things together, we'll be able to take steps so that everybody can get what they want. And the colours for the trays, we may well redo some of those colours over this next year. Um, we've got a plan to do a couple of different things with the trays. There is only a certain amount of colours. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, yeah, there is, there is a few ideas that we have for trays for next year. Um, but we think we might mix in some of the popular colours as well from previous launches. You know, sort of a second chance um, at some of the trays. So that people have, have got another opportunity to pick up ones that they like. Um, but yeah, all those plans Megan and I will be putting into place soon. We are planning on having a, a brainstorm planning session. In fact, we have ones most months, um, just October's. We've been a bit busy, it hasn't really happened. So um, yeah, we are in need of that so that we can confirm what we can get to work. Um, and yeah, give people another chance to get some of the colours that they that they may have missed out on. Um, Amber, she says she has been a fan since last April when she first started this amazing hobby. Um, she says that she, and she's now just realising that our trays are shaped in a diamond shape. She said, uh, that's so stinking cool. She says she wants all the colours. Yes, that was part of the idea behind these trays, is that if you put it that way, it does kind of look like a diamond. We did, um, in with the sort of tray design, we did actually try a few that, that sort of were a little bit curved, a little bit of an edge on the bottom to give it sort of a bit more of a dimension of a diamond, but it didn't didn't quite work. Um, it's just the, the spout on the end that makes it a little bit different, but it does still come to a point. It's just a little bit longer, a little bit more of an elongated diamond. Does that make it more rare, more beautiful maybe? Who knows? But yes, it is a diamond design intentionally and it just works as soon as we'd nailed this design I knew this was exactly what I wanted um, to be able to do and create and luckily you guys thought the same thing too because it has always been extremely popular no matter what color it's in um, though of course some of the limited edition colours are even more popular. But yeah, quite enjoying this berry red with the black. It's nice. Um, Jackie says, great idea, Ari, a separate paint gem mini decision wheel. Yes, I think anything that I can take out the option of making a decision is good. There are so many things that I have to make decisions for um, and it's always harder when I sort of don't mind which. Um, even with the large diamond paintings and things, while I may be excited or wanting it to maybe pick a painting that I actually got recently or, you know, one of the newer designs, while I may want my wheel and I'd be very happy if it picked that one. I also am equally happy if it picks a painting that I may have had in my stash for quite a bit longer and therefore I feel like I you know I've had it in my stash for quite a while and I need to do it um, because I love all the paintings in my stash otherwise they wouldn't be in my stash. I do have you know I have limited space, so every now and then I do have a rejig and if I find that there's any that I just don't like as much as I used to, then they will go. Um, but I haven't had to do that for quite a while because I do love all the paintings I've still got. And I am working through them. Some months is quicker than others. I think 
time's just flying at the moment. I don't actually realise how much time disappears. And then I do my logbook entries and realise that I've actually put in more diamond paintings than I've actually done. And that's when I realise I might be getting to the point of having a problem. Um, so yeah, paint gems I think are going to go in a decision wheel. And I do need to kit one of those up. I actually think I've got that scheduled to do a video on that this week. And when I say scheduled, it's not filmed yet. But in my plan of a video to do this week is to kit up one of my paint gem minis. Because I now have a way of still being able to keep them in the box, the storage box where I can house the paintings underneath. So I'm going to give that idea of somebody else's a go. Uh, Doreen says the mystery looks fun. She said uh, this bit looks like some sort of shrubbery. Quite possible it is a landscape mystery. Uh, Coup deals do give the option of sort of pitting, picking a category for your mystery painting, which can be good, you know, especially if some people don't like scenery photos or don't like cartoon type ones, you know, or have something that they particularly don't like and therefore don't want to buy a mystery for. It can be a nice way of them still having a surprise, but in a category they know they're more likely to like. So I can't remember what made me pick scenery. It probably was just the vibe I was feeling um, when I was when I was browsing the website because quite often the category that I like to do changes often. It depends on my mood. Sometimes when I'm doing unboxings for paintings and I see which ones have arrived and I'm like, oh, I was in a spring mood that day. Or I was feeling quite festive when I placed this order because I have a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, sometimes, yeah, I just get a just get a thought or a vibe or a feeling in my head, and that's it. All paintings are themed around that. Um, I keep doing a little shuffle with my diamonds that wouldn't go the right way up before I turn my tray around. To get the diamonds from the other side. Uh, cross stitch and tat. She says great whip and waffle. She says her granddaughters were here Saturday um, and left this morning. Uh, she said they are both very smart. She said car seats have arrived. She says so next visit we can go to the park. Um, she says it's hard to hear them cry that they don't want to go home. Um, our other grands are older and boys, she said, so having girls is awesome. Uh, they have only moved from out of state recently, so childproofing has taken some time. Uh, it has left little time for diamond painting. Isn't that always the way? Sometimes life just saps your diamond painting time for a while. Um, but then it's awesome when you get it back. Uh, it gives you a chance to rejuvenate your love for diamond painting. Um, she says, though the four-year-old did want to try, uh, she will get one of something that she likes soon. Uh, she says, smiles to all your family and thanks. Uh, I love it when little ones get involved. Um, a couple of my nephews and my niece have both been interested in diamond painting and I've done some little you know either off the canvas items or little things um, and it doesn't the interest doesn't always stay my older nephew is no longer interested he has other interests however he was extremely keen when I was there a few years ago uh, but he has lost interest now and that's fine. He may pick it up again. He may not. But at least he enjoyed it while he was doing it, which is always good. Uh, Juliet says, wonderful whip and waffle. 
looking forward to all the fun. Uh, thinking positively for the post to the US. Um, yeah, this may be a bit early to say, but post to the US has been doing rather well recently. Um, I say I may have spoken too early. It may not keep it up. Um, but yeah, it's actually, there's been a f quite a few shipments that have been rather, rather quick. Um, she said, we've just got some first snow. Uh, she says, we pray to get enough to fight the drought. She said, hoping we all have wonderful holidays. Hugs from Utah. Snow. We've had some bitter winds, but I'm definitely not ready for snow. It does take a lot to snow in the town that we live in, um, just as we are in a valley. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't mind the snow that comes, looks pretty and disappears by morning. Or early morning. I don't mind that snow. I'm not as keen on the stuff that sticks around or turns to sludge. Uh, Kathy says hi, says she's so happy she's already kitted up her advent and um, she's planning on changing the colours and adding some ABs. She said she can't wait to start. Awesome. I think advent excitement is definitely higher this year. Don't know whether it's because maybe I've discussed it a little bit earlier this year than I normally do. Or whether that just people have decided that it is okay for diamond painters to get excited for Christmas. Who knows? But yeah, I can't wait to do Advent um, and diamond paint a little bit each day and finish up with my Advent calendar. Uh, Susan, she says, yep, she definitely can't tell anything from the section of the mystery painting that I got finished. She says, but the colours are gorgeous. She's getting a full vibe uh, and she hopes that she's right. Well, that would be quite good because we are still, we've not yet hit winter. Even though the air can get a bit bitter, we are still in fall. Um... Is it September, October and November are classed as fall or autumn in the UK? And then December, January and February are winter, March, April, May, yeah, and then June, July, August, something like that are classed as summer. There'll be, it'll shuffle about and it'll probably be midway through the month for it, but that sort of how I see it in my head, though November can very much feel like winter more than autumn. Uh, oh, Susan, she said she forgot to say uh, she received her order yesterday and she loves everything. She said the trays are beautiful colours and she's excited for December the 1st so that we can begin our paintings. She says uh, she never even put the drills back in the box after opening it up. She said she kitted it up immediately. <laughs> I like your excitement level. Now you just have to do what I did with this one. Kiss it up immediately, but then not quite start it. And in turn, it's what it's... I mean, Whip and Chat goes up on November the 6th, but I'm actually on November the 5th as I'm doing this and I'm only just placing my first diamond. But I am clinging to the plan and the hope that once I've finished my Dreamers designs, I can storm through some of this and get quite a bit done. For the November events. Um, it will be, I might do it in my next whip and chat, I might still be working on the black. I may have given in and done it alternate days. That's another thing I'm wondering whether to do with the Dreamers designs is to just do alternate days. So do a day of Dreamers designs confetti or an evening should I say 
um, and then do a day of this with some blockiness. Um, and then it will take me longer though to finish the Dreamers designs doing it that way. But I will get to get some of this done in November. Uh, Angela says she thinks that I'm amazing and she really likes watching me. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Lady Dax, she says she's so pleased that there will be a November launch. Uh, she said her birthday is on the 9th. Um, so she hopes she can bag a tray or two. Yes, we weren't sure mainly on the basis of being able to have all the trays printed in time. Um, to have true stock numbers etc and be able to of course get orders out straight away um, but yeah we have managed to get them all done most of the green were done it's only the last of the red I just couldn't quite tell it's actually printing the last few now um, but they should be done over this weekend hopefully if not by Monday which is plenty of time for Friday I've cut it finer than that before now <laughs> um, on times. Sarah Jane, she says Royal Mail has called off some strikes now. She says she's not sure if I knew. Uh, yes, I did notice that Royal Mail called off their recent strikes, which is good because they were striking the day the diamond paintings turned up um, to be able to fulfill pre-orders. And then they actually had disruption for the following two days after that. Um, but yeah, so glad those strikes have been called off. They have now put in other strikes for Black Friday time, which is more the end of November. I think they've done notification of strikes then, which could affect Christmas post and things. Um, but yeah, I don't know the reasons enough to form an opinion so I can only say they must be doing what's right um, for them and their workers because I don't know any different I can only assume that they're doing right um, but yeah it can get a little frustrating especially when they fall in sync with a launch or the likes of trying to send pre-orders out it can be a little frustrating, but thankfully they called these recent ones off. So we were still able to get the orders out. We did have a little bit of a problem with our postage software uh, provided by Royal Mail um, to try and get some orders out the other day, but we managed to still keep packing them and got them sent out a few hours later. So we made it work. Right, I am going to call that section that I finished as done for the black for today. However, I am just going to use these last few diamonds in here before, because there's no point in putting it away, before I add in a few little ABs, I think, just because, because they're screaming out for the ABs to be popped in there. It's calling me right I've got two together it is only a set of two it's not loads so will they come apart ah oh, they do so let's have those as well always takes a little bit sometimes to get the last one to turn the right way up and then I've got a couple of little bits of trash that's the only thing I've popped in my trash so far it's just a little bit of trash Okay, let's do a little bit of AB and then I think that's going to have to be it for today's whip and waffle. I'm not sure whether it's been shorter or longer. I wasn't sure how long the camera was running before it cut off due to battery. Um, but in order to go out tomorrow, I do have a few more things that I need to get done today. Uh, Laurie does say that... Um, this is the first whip and waffle that she's watching instead of listening to while dotting away um, her day. And she said she is enjoying it so much. She said it's the middle of the night uh, in Minnesota, USA. She said, and it seems that this is her weekly 
um, stay up all night night. She says, thank you. Thank goodness for YouTube as it keeps her entertained. Uh, she did say she wants, I've just realised how long this comment is. Uh, she said she did say, she said she wants to say a big thanks for the condition of her two packages in October. Uh, she said, you wrap the advent calendar diamond painting. She said she was so impressed. Oh yes, they all are wrapped in brown paper. Once I got the size of that paper and got it cut, it actually wasn't too bad wrapping it at all. Um, she says she couldn't believe how beautiful you made the packaging. Uh, she's saving the new zesty trays until December to use for the advent calendar and she's using her new white, pink and grey trays before then. Uh, she says it's a little hard to use something other than white. She says, but she'll gladly suffer in order to expand my world. Laurie, give it a couple of weeks and you will find working on normal white trays weird. Believe me, it does kick in. Um, she says, in the October launch, she didn't get the full advent calendar or the square diamond painting. Uh, but she did manage to get the 12 day and the round one. Uh, she says, feeling a little sorry for herself. She did a search for a chocolate calendar and found herself buying three advent calendars. Uh, a chocolate, a coffee and a cat ornament one. Um, she says her being able to open one each day depends on one little thing. And that is she must make her bed first thing in the morning or she gets no little treats that day. She says since she's been retired, she doesn't have a regular morning routine. Um, and making the bed has sort of been removed from her list. Uh, she says she makes it for a couple or three or four days each week, but not every day like she did when she was working. She said, hopefully not being able to get all my daily gifts will break this bit of laziness. I know exactly how you feel. I didn't get out of my pyjamas much when we first started working from home and I hardly ever made the bed. And I did have to give myself a kick and I find now, I'm even if I'm not going out, I get dressed, albeit it might not be smart going out the house where, but I'm dressed and I made the bed. Um, she said, well, I want to give you a big hug for all the fun you and the dotting gang provide me every day. Uh, she says she's been going through the playlists on both sites uh, and she feels like she's sitting around the kitchen table with some of her very best friends. Dot on everyone. Oh, thank you so much for that lovely comment, Laurie. Um, start getting in your bed pattern now. Um, just so that you don't miss out on any treats in December. Try your best. You might still only get five days out of seven or six days but try starting now just so that you definitely get your treats in um december because i think you deserve them <laughs> right i'm actually gonna pull oh you can't even see let me zoom back out i've just pulled a piece of cover sheet from under there where i'd stashed it just to cover that up and keep it nice for now it actually doesn't feel like a huge piece that I've done. Um, but yeah, who knows? When I'm waffling, sometimes I feel like it takes more or it takes less. Uh, but I did manage to get my ABs in and I did place these last three just because I only had three left in my tray. So it seemed like a little bit of fate to get those last three in. Um, but you never know. The next Whip and Chat, I might have a bit more of this done if I mix up my Dreamers designs and this. Or if I'm on my last section of my Dreamers designs, I might do that one. We'll see what it what it's like when it gets to next weekend. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.